This may seem like my story, but it's not. It's about my people, the Nubian people. My name is Fikri El Keshev. I'm just trying to hold on to the memories I have, maybe trying to revive them in the only way I know. In 1952, the monarchy was overthrown and Gamal Abdel Nasser with his military regime took over. One of his greatest projects was to build the Aswan Dam in order to provide electricity for the entire country. It was meant to push Egypt into the 20th century. The largest man-made lake in the world was created and everything south of it was flooded. The Egyptians called it Lake Nasser the Sudanese, Lake Nubia. 46 villages were moved to Komombo, 46 Nubian villages. 100,000 people transferred to a land that was no longer on the Nile. It was the end of Nubia. My earliest memories are of the temple of Abu Simbel. My village lay on the opposite bank of the river and the temple dominated the landscape. It was a presence in our lives, reaching deep in our collective subconscious. It was there that I first became aware of being a Nubian. Now, the village is under the lake and there is nothing left. It is time to go back home. Since the story of the temple is also the story of my village, I went back there as a tour guide after my studies. Every day I would tell tourists about Ramses II and how he chose this area to build his temple, which was to become one of the ancient wonders of the world. I would decipher for them the writing on the walls about his battles and his conquests. In a way today, I feel like I am fulfilling my mission, recounting the saga of my people. So, maybe it is here that I should start. بعد التهجير حصلت فيها إضافات كتير قبل التهجير كانت الحياة في منتهى البساطة وعايشين حياة رومانسية جميلة أشجار ونخيل وعصافير وسوائل البشريات كلها تتمشي للسلام والمحبة والأخوة والأصار والتسامح هذا موجود في المجتمع اليوم مجتمع الوحيد أنا بقول إن على ظهر الأرض ولذلك ممكن أن تسمى اليوتوبيا أو الجنة المفقودة I was nine years old when they forced us to emigrate. My land was lost forever. So I traveled the world searching for a haven to fill the emptiness I felt. But as the years went by, I realized I was losing ground. I needed to return. 
I sometimes wish that I belonged to the generations that never knew about our exodus, either dying before it happened or born years later. But I was born in this one and feel that I have a responsibility to preserve our memories and our culture. I owe it to my family, to my ancestors and to our children. It took me eight years to build this house. The first priority was to build near the water, because we are people of the Nile. But on a personal level, I wanted to be close to the temple. So it was there that I bought my land. Each time I had a little savings, I would add a stone. Few people believed I could do it, but I just kept building, designing it completely in the Nubian style, as if I were recreating a piece of Nubia. The house is now finished, however, its real purpose has yet to come true. Looking at these people tonight and how they got together during the preparations, I'm glad I persisted. When they arrived from their different villages to give me a hand, it was already like the old times. Whenever there was any big occasion, people used to come from all over to help. This revival of our traditions was what I was aiming for. But this house has many more roles to play. I want it to be a real cultural center with Nubian music, painting, and books, portraying the way these people used to live and their history in the Nile Valley. It's not just about one night or one great party. والحضارة اللي هو عاشها بكل جوانبها الثقافية الموسيقية كل الجوانب الحياة العامة اللي كانت النوبة القديمة بينقلها لنا كشباب المفروض احنا هنستلمها منه وهنطلعها للجيل اللي بعدينا كمان زمان مثلا الفن الفن كان بيبقى فيه مثلا مشاركة يعني مثلا المطرب بيغني كل الناس اللي واقفين كانوا بيشاركوا دلوقتي فرقه واحده بس اللي بتلعب على المسرح والناس القطاع الكبير او العدد الكبير مستمع عن طريق الاغاني القديمه دي بيحاول ان هو يوصل لنا برضو رساله يعني المزيكا دي كانت كذا كانت شيء من من الثقافه النوبيه الاصيله بس بدأت تنقرض أو بدأت تندثر لعدم وجود شباب بيحاول يتابع الحاجات دي أغنية ورا التانية هتتنسي خلاص يعني النوبة حياة بالنسبة لي أو حضارة بالنوبة بالنوبة بالنسبة لي كيان يعني طفولتي صبايا شبابي كل حياتي عشان أنا أجي أتجاوب مع المجتمع اللي برا أو المجتمع اللي روحنا فيه من الصعب طبعا نزلنا واحنا بنعيط 